In travel news, for January 13th, 2023, we have an update on the FAA outage earlier this week. We talk about upcoming strikes in the European Union and United Kingdom, and we talk about Viking unveiling their world cruise lineup. But before we begin, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, and this is Today in Travel. To stay updated on travel news, tips, tricks, and other insights, which will help you to travel like an adept traveler, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We frequently release new content to keep you up to date on all things travel. Viking has released their world cruise itineraries for 2024 and 2025, with stops in Europe, Africa, Asia, Oceania, think Australia, New Zealand, and the Americas. The highlight of the collection is the new Viking World Voyage 1, which is a 180-day round-the-world sailing, stopping in 85 ports across 37 countries with overnight stays in 13 iconic cities. The voyage will depart from Fort Lauderdale on December 19th, 2024, and will finish in New York City on June 17th, 2025. Another around-the-world sailing that's slightly shorter is the World Voyage 2. This is a 163-day voyage departing from Los Angeles on January 5th, 2025, and will visit a total of 29 countries and 78 ports before ultimately wrapping up in New York City. Additionally, there's also two other options, the 138-day Viking World Cruise Itinerary, which sails from Fort Lauderdale to London, England, and the 121-day Viking World Journeys, which leaves from Los Angeles and visits 23 countries before ending in London. Holiday travel in Europe was disrupted by widespread strikes. Looking into 2023, it appears as if these strikes will continue to affect travelers. Here are some of the upcoming strikes that travelers should be aware of. Union employees in France plan on a nationwide day of strikes on January 19th with the goal of stopping all transportation. Italy will face smaller strikes throughout the month that largely affect travel by rail. In Portugal, the cabin crews of the Portuguese airline TAP will be going on strike for seven days at the end of the month. In the United Kingdom, at least 100,000 government workers, including border force workers, will be going on strike on February 1st. If you plan on traveling in the United Kingdom or Europe over the next month, it would be a good idea to consult with your travel advisor on how these strikes could affect your trip. Earlier this week, the notice to air mission system went down. This system alerts pilots to potential problems in the sky that could affect the safety of their aircraft. As a result of this system going down, the Federal Aviation Administration grounded all U.S. aircraft. This, of course, caused all sorts of problems for travelers. NBC News is reporting that the cause of the issue has been identified. It appears as if a contract employee modified a file, and this modification created a ripple effect that took down the entire system. Access to the system has been limited since the incident, and additional protocols are being put into place to protect against a repeat of this. Today in Travel is brought to you by The Adept Traveler, a travel agency that specializes in accessible travel. Our goal is to help all travelers, from the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled, to travel well. Until next time, travel well, my friends.